Have you ever wondered what happens to a flock of chickens when they become too old? In May last year, that's 2021, we received about 3,000 female layer parent stock. Now together with the males, it's quite a big number. Actually, we received excess birds. Ideally, we received about 4,000 birds on the farm, layer breeders. And currently, this flock of birds is almost making 72 weeks. And I can tell you, they have been really, really good birds. They have performed better than we expected. That was the very, very first commercial flock of birds we've had on the farm. By commercial, I mean like meant for business, you know, that we've had on the farm. Before, we had had free-range chickens, but this was the very, very first commercial flock of birds and during that time they have lived in two chicken houses the first being a smaller area that we used to breed them and the second being this huge and long chicken house 120 meters long as you can see by 12 meters wide it's storied now you might probably be asking yourself what on earth are breeder chickens breeder chickens are the chickens from which we get the commercial chickens a breeder farm like ours gets what we call parent stock and those are breeders who shall keep them on the farm, who shall keep males and females together in particular ratios. And then the eggs that are laid by the females are taken to machines that are incubators and they do hatch out. And those chicks are supplied to farmers. The farmers of which will raise the birds and if the birds are for meat, then you receive the broilers. That will be the chickens for meat. If the birds are for eggs, then you will receive the layers. So what we have here, a breeder layers. So from this flock, the very first batch of birds that we hatched actually gave out for free. It was a token of appreciation for everyone who had supported us at Farm Up. I've given out a lot of birds. Thousands of birds I've been able to give out for free. But the very first batch, I got lucky winners and they took up these birds. Some of them performed well. Hi, I'm called Vivian and I got 200 chicks from Farm Up in December. I lost none during brooding and currently my birds are 17 weeks and I've only lost one bird. I followed the vaccination schedule given by FarmUp and my birds have not gotten ill at all. Recently my birds started laying at 17 weeks and I'm earning money every day. Some of them unfortunately didn't perform well because well just like it is in every population, some people don't take advice that's given to them. So some people didn't raise the birds well, they got ill, and some of the birds died. But some people performed really, really well, they followed the advice, the birds were giving them eggs as early as 17 weeks, and then the birds have raised well. Some of them have actually come back to farm up in order to stock more birds. So it's been very, very beautiful. And now, 70 weeks later, this flock has been a really, really good flock. Like I've said, way better than I expected. A few things that have stood out. Number one, the birds have never fallen ill. We have not needed to treat these birds even once for one illness. So that means these birds have actually never received a single antibiotic. And that's a very good thing, you know. 72 weeks, you haven't given the birds a single antibiotic. The only thing that we give them is their normal food, uh, vitamins and deworming them beautiful and they even managed to hit 97 percent production that means out of every 100 birds we're getting 97 birds giving us eggs can you imagine so they performed really really well the breed's target and standard would tell us 95 percent but we actually managed to hit 97 that's impressive but yeah like as it is in life anywhere all good things come to an end and this flock too is coming to an end so what next what happens now hi guys welcome back to farm up I'm Dr. Daniel, a former medical doctor with a very deep passion for farming. And here on Farm Up, I share with you everything that you need to know and learn considering farming. As you can see, right now I'm standing just next to our breeder chicken house. But more than just that, I give you tips on how to raise birds properly, um, how, what to do in case you get problems on the farm, and more importantly, what to do to make sure you don't get any problems on the farm because that way you save more money so if this is your very first time on the channel come on hit that subscribe button smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload i'll share with you everything that we do have on the farm the goats the sheep a few cattle we do have bees over here for some reason i don't pay too much attention to them we do grow a few crops so come on smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload so first of all why is age even a problem these birds are 72 weeks ideally that's just one year and five months later some of us have kept birds you know our local chickens in the villages at our homes for three years 
and it's never a problem. They keep giving us eggs. Why not keep them for as long as possible? Do they stop laying eggs at 72 weeks? No, they actually don't stop laying eggs at 72 weeks. At 72 weeks, by the time we cull them, their production will still have dropped, but they will still be giving us lots of eggs. Actually, out of every 100, we'll be getting more than even 60 eggs every day. So it's actually quite a number of eggs. Why on earth will we get rid of them? Now, I'll try to explain that. Number one, keep it at the back of your head that this is a commercial farm. And so, money will always play a role. It's not like the backyard chickens that you have at your home while you're just keeping them for you to produce eggs and so it doesn't really matter. You don't give them anything that's not your food scraps at home. That doesn't really matter. What you have, you give them. So whether they lay an egg today or not lay an egg, it's not a problem to you. This is commercial. We are putting in a lot of money. We are paying the people working in the houses a lot of money. You can see someone collecting some eggs in the background over there, yeah? So, you have to pay those guys a lot of money. We have to put in money for the feed. Constructing the structures cost a lot of money. So we have to factor that in. Number two, like I've already said, after some time, the number of eggs produced actually drops, yeah? So the production keeps dropping till a particular point. And if I use commercial layers, not breeders, as an example, in commercial layers, the production will keep dropping till a particular point when you can't break even because the number of eggs coming out and the amount of money you're putting into the birds to feed them just doesn't make sense. They don't correlate anymore. So as the production keeps dropping, it means a point will reach at a particular point where the number of chicks that you're getting out and the number of eggs that you're getting out that you can actually hatch are just not able to maintain the farm and keep the farm at a level at which you'll be able to continue making business sense. Number three, as the birds keep getting older, the quality of the eggs decreases. Remember, over here, this is a breeder farm, so we need the old chicks. The day old chicks that we shall be able to supply to the farmer need to at least meet a particular level of quality. So as the flock gets older, the quality of these eggs gets older. And so, if the quality drops, then it doesn't make sense to keep supplying farmers poor quality chicks. You need to get rid of the flock. And then number four, the males get worn out. You see, these males, they keep mounting the females. And after a lot of mounting, you know, over a year of mounting, they get worn out. So the quality of the sperms is not good. Again, that takes us back to the first point. The hatchability of the eggs becomes low. The quality of the eggs becomes low. The quality of the sperm is bad. And then even the birds themselves, the males, you know, their toes, their feet start getting damaged because they are consistently mounting. Then they become weak. A lot of them are not able to mount. And so that means that the percentage of eggs that is actually fertilized keeps dropping. So ideally you need to get rid of those males, but you can't get rid of the males and then bring in new males and maintain the same old females. You have to get rid of the females too. So now ideally what next? What are you going to do with this flock? Cull them! Get rid of them! How? Let's get in and I first show them to you. So I'm clean, um, I took my bath, I have my clean overall, I have my clean gambots, yeah, over there. So I'm just going to go and step in the food bath and then get inside. Let's get in. Okay, step in our food bath. That has a very good disinfectant. Very effective. And you can see the birds already right at the entrance. I'll pull the door open and get in. And you can see the females. Oh my God. You can see the females. The females are worn out. Their bodies are worn out. You see their backs? Their backs are worn out. They are all damaged. And that's from consistent mounting. And that's, that's what's happening to the entire flock, you know? Look at their backs from consistent mounting. You see that? Yeah? And these are the males. You can see that the male is also not a very happy one. It wants to try to fight me. But you can see the backs of the males. The backs of the males are also not in the very best condition. So you can see that the males are also very old. Yeah? The males are very old. We can see a male mounting a female right there. And it's taken a bit longer than usual to mount. You see how long it's staying on the female? And um, it's probably because I'm here and I'm taking away its attention. Yeah? But it hasn't even done its work. It tried to mount, but it didn't complete its work. So those are the problems we are facing. The flock is generally very, very old. You can look at their feathers. Their feathers are very, very fluffed. Completely off gone but that's what happens in a breeder farm so yes now the only option we are left with is to cull this flock we're going to be selling it and it's going to be eaten for meat 
Now, I understand that people have different tastes and preferences for meat. And in your country, you can't even imagine eating this meat. But for us here, it is cheap meat. People in some places don't love broiler meat because it is too soft, it's too tender. And the fact that the bird grows for a very short time, some people just don't like the idea. So these ones have been present for one and a half years. And yes, I'm going to sell them off. They're going to be eaten for meat. That's the ultimate sacrifice for them in the end. Of course, with the sale of that, we shall be able to get back some money and use that money, you know, to purchase something else. So in order to continuously make sure that we are producing good quality, nice looking bags, they're old chicks, we need to make sure that the old flock goes out and a new flock comes in. So in about a week's time or two maximum, this flock is going to be removed. This house is going to be cleaned out. The flock is going to be sold completely. The house is going to be cleaned out. I mean, when the house gets cleaned out, we're going to give it some little time for the house to get clean and disinfected and be empty. Then we're going to have a new flock of birds come in that we're going to brood from somewhere. And once we have them brooded, they're going to be moved into another chicken house that we have prepared. Uh, and there we shall be keeping our birds. So yes, that's ideally what happens when a flock of chickens get old. They get sold off and eaten because they can't continue doing the purpose of being a breeder flock. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Lots of love. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye!